Oh, it is so cold. It is so cold and it is snowing. But you guys wanted to see what was going on. I said I'd come out and show you. And now I'm freezing my butt off. I just lost my microphone. Okay, I think we got our microphone back on. Hey, how's it going? You guys are at 8th and I, the Marine Barracks. This is the Marine Corps base here in Washington, D.C. It is snowing. And this is where the President's Band and the President's Ceremonial Units are based. The Marine Barracks at 8th and I. It is a late walk. I was busy doing stuff with the kids today. 8th and I is the oldest post in the U.S. Marine Corps. I think it was established 1801. There's actually some Marines walking a line up here. We'll see in a bit. It is cold. How much snow? We got like... We've received a couple inches of snow. But uh, it's still coming down right now. Enjoyed my sledding scope. That was a bit mental, wasn't it? Ooh. Oh. No, DC's not under martial law. Thank God. So, this is the base. Hey, Spike. This is the one building the British did not burn. The British did not burn the Marine barracks uh, when they invaded in the War of 1812. They left this one standing. There is snow around the White House. Man, it's cold. So we're going to go over to the Commandant's house. It's on the other side here. That's where the big, big Marine in Chief is based. And then we're going to work our way up to the Capitol. There are troops coming in and out of D.C. every day. You got to remember that these are National Guard soldiers. They have like day jobs. They're like teachers and firemen and nurses and doctors and whatever else, you know. They've got to get back to work. So they spend a couple weeks here and then they go back and they get rotated out with another unit coming in. There's been hundreds of flights. I think like 300 military airlift flights or something like that in the last month bringing troops in. So, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. This... This is the Commandant's house, where the Marine Corps Commandant lives. This is uh, one of the oldest federal buildings in Washington, D.C. And they have lots of famous... They have lots of big soirees here. The Commandant's Home, Marine Corps Barracks Commandant's Home. It's a national landmark. It's a really pretty building. Let's see if we can get a picture of it. <laughs> Trivial pursuit. Is there a protocol for when the National Guards of the Army? What do you mean? Now I should know, this is a Marine base. We can't talk about the Army. <laughs> That's a pretty cool building. Take a picture again. What service am I in? Nothing. I used to be, I used to work on Capitol Hill as a national security advisor. So I had a lot of dealings. I mean, daily, hourly dealings with the Pentagon, all different services. Um, my former congressman, the congressman I worked for, uh, was a Marine, is a Marine. There's never a difference to them. So as a result, I did do a lot of stuff with the Marines, a lot of different projects. 
And I mean, you know, it sounds exciting, like, oh yeah, we're gonna get funding for a new fighter jet. No, no, it was, it was more boring stuff. It's like, all right, due to a mistake, there's no construction money for a new fire station at the Air Force Base in your district. Can we fix this typographical error and get the money for the Air Force Base to get a new fire station? <laughs> and that would be like two weeks of work. <laughs> I mean, that's the kind of stuff you used to do on Capitol Hill. And then you would do like, let's buy two million fighter jets or something like that. Two million, two million in toilets for fire jets. All right, so we're going to walk down this street a couple blocks. I want to show you a neat house, a couple neat houses back here. And we're going to make our way up to the Capitol in the snow. And it's cold. It is cold. Can you guys even see the snow coming down? It is, it is actually snowing in the process thereof. So when I first lived in D.C., this was a really sketch neighborhood. Yeah, this was like danger, danger, Will Robinson. Now the barrier, the border between good and bad neighborhood is pushed back very, very far. But I still have a few feelings of that old trepidation. I do have a scarf. I've got, um, I've got a neck garter, actually. You know, one of those pull-up things. Keeps you really warm. I can't see the snow. Sometimes the snow flurries are big and sometimes they're really tiny. So, all right, we're almost to our next spot. This White House up here on the right, guys. Yeah, Gator. I'm ga is that going to spell it or spell it some other way? I don't even know. Is it ice on the sidewalks? No. They're pretty clean. All right, guys, we're going to stop here for a second. You guys know what I'm singing? Well, the guy who lives here does. This is the house where John Philip Sousa was born. John Philip Sousa was a composer and a band leader for the U.S. Marine Corps, and he composed some of the greatest national marches, marching music of the Big Brass era. If you ever go to a military parade, you have heard John Philip Sousa songs like the Washington Post March, the Stars and Stripes Forever. I think he did the Stars and Stripes Forever. And this is where John Philip Sousa was born. He's also known the Sousaphone, <laughs> which is a tuba, basically. Bum, bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Now I'm going to be singing marching music the rest of the day. Dun, 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 dun. The thing about wearing a neck gaiter is that it makes you look like a character out of, like, Fortnite. Okay, let's go down to 6th Street, and we're going to cut up to Pennsylvania, and then we're going to make our way over to the White, to the Capitol. The kids are home today. They didn't have school in person, but that's actually because it's their... Um, it's their week to be home and online. Next week, they're supposed to go in person. Yeah, kind of a tour bus. We'll see some more touristy stuff just around the corner. <clears throat> or maybe the next block. I can't remember exactly. I think it was the next block. It's cold. Whew. Yeah, it's just up here on the left. Oh, my fingers are cold. Watching from Twitter, cool. Well, we're about to our next location. Hey, Rita. Whew. Well, they changed the paint, and that's why I don't recognize it, because they painted some of it. Ah, car coming. Okay, remember this alley. Remember this alley. 
President Obama lives up by my house. It's not in this area. This is Capitol Hill. However, this house right here is the infamous Gary Hart house. Do you guys remember who Gary Hart was? Gary Hart was a senator from Colorado, widely tipped to be the next Democratic nominee for president until he brought back a very young and very pretty 20-year-old girl that was not his wife to this house. And his career was over. This is the Gary House Scandal House. Now that alley back there, or the alley up here, is where the monkey business, yeah. That, the monkey business uh, scandal. So all you youngins, you can just look up Gary Hart. It was a different time, tough, a different time. Back then, that sort of thing just wasn't allowed. And then we had Bill Clinton, and it was just sort of accepted. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, there's some sort of stakeout back there. God, it's cold and windy. I used to live down on this street. When I first moved to Washington, just out of college, I lived in a house down there. I picked it because I was right next to a police station. Not that it did much good. <laughs> but the idea was good with my mom. Mom, I'm living next to a police station. Oh, okay, that's safe. And then she came to visit me, watched some guy get beat up in our front steps. <laughs> some random person just beat up. It's like life in the big city, Mom. Do, 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 do. Uh, where are we at? We are at 6th, and basically E as in Edward, and we're making our way to the Capitol, which is six blocks one way, five blocks the other. God, this brings back some memories. I haven't, I haven't walked back here in 30 years. I've driven through here. I've shown my kids where I lived, but I haven't actually walked like I was going to work in like 30 years. Oh, it's cold. Yeah, I saw two FBI agents were shot and several others were wounded. And I have two fatally shot doing a kitty porn warrant. And then they, uh, the, the bad guy killed himself, apparently. Whew. So, we're going to keep walking. This will be up on my YouTube channel, Penguin6, later this evening. Well, as you guys have seen, my YouTube channel's gone a bit crazy lately. I've got so much traffic now. So a lot of people want to know what's going on on the streets. Uh, there are Jones, there are two FBI headquarters. It's the FBI headquarters from the X-Files. And that's like a mile from here. And then there's the FBI field headquarters, which is the actual operational headquarters. And that's in Chinatown. That's a little closer, like three quarters of a mile. I'm cold. I'm really cold, sweet. <laughs> But people wanted. People kept asking me on my YouTube channel, where are the troops? Where are the troops? Because I've been showing them the White House lately. And I said, well, you know what? I'll show you the troops. The troops are at the Capitol building. Yeah, the J. Andrew Hoover building is the main one. Yeah, CNN's um, on the other side of Union Station, which is kind of on Capitol Hill. I think that's where they are. And it's closer than the FBI, but still. Like, so when I was a kid... No, I was a kid. Well, it was kind of a kid. So when I was growing up... When, backtrack. When I first moved to Washington, ergo, I considered myself a kid, even though I was 21. This street was troublesome. I would not walk on this side of the street because the people that lived on this side were actually really, really sketchy. That side of the street was fine, but if you walked on this side of the street, well, you never knew what was going to happen. So that's kind of how it was. I would always walk on that side of the street. I wouldn't walk on this side of the street because there was a couple houses there that were pretty much, uh, I don't know what they were doing. 
there was beer and bottles and people on the steps and occasional police cars out front and I don't know if it was like a shooting gallery or what. What changed? Gentrification. This whole area became extraordinarily expensive. These houses are all a million dollars. These townhouses are a million bucks each. Easily. No, this this block is pretty dumb. Wow, look at this snow fort these kids built. Oh, wicked. Man, that must have taken like a day. That's a wicked snow fort. Yeah, it's safe now. It's safer now. That is mental. That is a wicked snow fort those kids built. My kids are playing Xbox, watching TV. And these kids are out here building defenses to attack their friends with little balls of ice and snow. Take a butterfly. Not today. It is actually really slushy, buddy. This isn't the kind of like pristine fairy tale, let it go, let it go snow. This is like sloppy muck, yuck, mud, snow. So, I'm gonna stay out of it. <laughs> Let it go, God, that was so silly. So we went to see the Lego movie once in Hong Kong, and it turned out the Lego movie wouldn't come out for another week. And they're like, we can give you, and because in Hong Kong, you have to pre-buy tickets. Like, and if you don't use them, you use them or lose them. So we're like, well, crap. And they're like, well, I'll tell you what, you guys can go see this other movie. I'm like, what's it? And they said, it's called Frozen. And my kids are like, ugh. So we took the kids to see Frozen instead of the Lego movie. They were, they were very annoyed. They're like, we expected Legos, and we got singing and dancing. I'm like, well, that's life. <laughs> One of my favorite YouTube videos is a bunch of Marines watching uh, Frozen and singing along with the song Let It Go. And when the, the princess lays, let, lets down her hair, the Marines go absolutely insane. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Using a black and white camera? No, why is it black and white? Well, I says this is an iPhone 12, but it is kind of gray out today. I don't have it set on black and white. Which one? This one? It's not Rover, is it? Nissan's. I'm cold. My fingers are cold. So we're approaching the Berlin Wall up here. where things get beyond stupid. I'm really, 10 minutes from Legoland. Oh, the one in the, the Netherlands, in, in Denmark. I was there about 18 months ago. We had a blast. Went to the Lego house, went to Legoland. How much snow did we get? We got two to three inches. But we got like, it's, it's been snowing since Sunday. Today is Tuesday. So it snows, it rains, it ices, it snows again. Anthony Blinken, I'm not really sure where the building is. Anthony Blinken, I'm not sure where that building is. It's a pretty old church. You know, I actually saw there's a Legoland house building. I saw that documentary on like Netflix, I think it was. That's kind of cool too. Oh, the UK Legoland, okay. So you don't even have to cross over. Oh, can you even go there now, though, because, like, COVID lockdowns? Or are you guys all locked in? And here we go. Welcome to East Berlin. Well, the Secretary of State, I'm not sure where he lives.
Yeah. Mud. There were some guard troops. I was actually dancing over a big pile of mud. <laughs> This is the Library of Congress on my left. This is part of the U.S. Capitol Congre complex. All the U.S. Capitol buildings, including the Supreme Court, are fenced in and guarded by heavily armed National Guard troops, Capitol Police guys. These are temporary fences. We're all hoping they'll get rid of them very soon. We've got this razor wire on it. Or as I was told, this is Constant Constantina wire, Constantina wire. Let me take a video of this. Stream more on haps. Uh, you know, I want to do more on haps. I really do. But at the moment, I've got a lot of demand for my videos to come back up onto YouTube. And HAPS doesn't have the playback capability. So I'm going to do more on HAPS, a lot more. But right now, I just got to go where the viewers are asking for it. So we're going to do, you know, we're going we're gonna to be a multi-streamer. We're going to stream everywhere we can. Yeah, HAPS is beta app. It's still got some learning bugs to get through. Ugh. All right, so now we're going to walk across the big road. Madison Building, Library of Congress, the police are back there. Stop, like I have a choice. So there is some police cars back there. So these barriers came up after 2000 or after uh, 2009. <laughs> These barriers came up after 9-11. Now this is the most Berlin dystopian wall here. I, I just hate this. This street freaks me out. On the right is the, library, is the Shakespeare Library. On the left is the Library of Congress. I'll be using Twitter Live, but I'm not really comfortable with the interface. I'll be using all my apps if I possible. I want to use Haps a lot more. I'm tempted to bring Checkpoint Charlie signs and put Checkpoint Charlie signs on this fence. <laughs> so there you see some National Guard troops. Guardsmen up ahead opening a gate to let vehicles out. Yeah. Right, you need Checkpoint Charlie signs. You are now leaving the American sector. Oh, Alex, I don't know when these gates are going to come down, man. The, uh, the Capitol Police have actually talked about making them permanent. And the residents in the neighborhood said, no way. No flipping way. They do not want these to be permanent. Oh, it's cold. There's a fence in front of a fence. 
God forbid they should go after Shakespeare. I know, it's very disconcerting. I hear a lot of sirens. Possible motorcade. No, it's a mess. It's an absolute mess. It is very chilly here. That's the Supreme Court building. Those are the National Guard shuttle buses. And you can see some troops down at the other end getting into the buses. I hear enough sirens to suspect a motorcade. You hear it? Let's see. It's a motorcade of some sort. No, it's multiple sirens. I think someone's going to the Capitol. It is snowing, yes. Man, they've got another fence down there. So there's two fences. Two fences between me and the Capitol right now. Normally you can go, you can see these motorcades arrive, but not today, of course. I gotta go the other side of the street. Crap. That's the Supreme Court. These took about these took about forty eight hours to get set up. These uh, these are really high quality riot fences. We don't do cheap riot fences in Washington. That motorcade is still running. I am cold. Those are motorcycle cops. That is a motorcade. I don't know where it's going or who's in it. Bunch of guard soldiers there. I think they're almost done. I never really noticed that the Supreme Court has two colors. One is kind of older and one's more whitish. Now, I wonder if this is a I wonder if this is like a Supreme Court justice coming out with like National Guard protection. Or just somebody driving a Volkswagen. Probably not Supreme Court. <laughs> Probably not a Supreme Court justice in a Volkswagen. Have I been in there? Yes, I have. In fact, as I mentioned, uh, one of my law school classmates is now actually a Supreme Court justice. So, 
I went to law school with Amy Coney Barrett. We were actually the same year to graduate from Notre Dame. And uh, she's done a little bit more in the field of con law since we graduated than I have. But uh, we were classmates, schoolmates. I didn't know her that well. She was nice. She was actually a very nice person and very smart. But I didn't really have, I only had a couple classes with her, like a half dozen maybe. Yeah. <sighs> These are the Senate office buildings. This is just depressing as hell. Now, of all the buildings I've seen guarded, the Senate office buildings were like the heavily guard, most heavily guarded the other day. So we're going to go over there now and see how many troops they have. This light. Oh, I can walk. Duh. more National Guard soldiers. This is not as heavily guarded as it was a week ago. Yeah. Hey, how's it going, man? No problem. Filming, man. I'm making a Periscope video on Twitter, showing people around. Okay. What 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 for what for at the hold on one thing. Two twelve. I'm on scene with the individual. I'm at uh second uh second town, uh, second in Maryland, uh northeast. Yeah, on Twitter. Yeah, see? Yeah, second in Maryland, northeast. Yeah, you can see people talking to me right have, now. How many do you have enough units, sir? <laughs> Copy, I'm double unit. Okay. So um, just walking around. You know you're held out with their call okay. sign. Where are you from, man? Uh, right now, D.C. Are you from D.C.? Yeah. I used to work on the Hill. One, three, three. Okay. Many right. years ago. <laughs> oh, really? What office? Uh, the new arrangements. Yeah, listen, I know it's crazy, but you don't understand why we're all... Paranoid. I know you guys are tense. We're, we're, we're paranoid, obviously. Yeah. Especially so. for a guy dressed like a bum. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I wasn't going to say anything. I, I, I know. It's a nice jacket. Yeah, yeah. Army surplus. You got, uh, you got an ID? Uh, yeah, I think so. Hey, there you go. Yeah, case fine. Do Take that out, please. Thank you. Perfect. Hey, talk to my buddy here for a second. No worries, mate. Yeah, ID for filming. Yeah. I didn't hear. What, what did you say about the footage that you had on your camera? No, this is Twitter. Twitter Live. So we oh, got a lot. Okay. These people are watching you. Got you. Okay. Yeah, so you can go on Twitter and you can see it. I see. Maybe go up on YouTube too. All right. But this isn't a. Hopefully, this is a once in a lifetime thing we get to see, mm -hmm. and not, not permanent. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Don't want me to hear my driver's license. <laughs> uh. How you guys been? Oh. Not as many troops today. What do you, what do you say about the, uh, yeah, you we get a thousand of each half hour, so I don't you know. Mm. Filming. Da 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 da. <laughs> no, I'll be alright. Oh. Yeah, I started up at the Marine Barracks and then walked down here. My Twitter followers like to see stuff like that in the Capitol. John Philip Sousa house and stuff. How many Twitter followers you got? Twitter, about 25,000. Oh, Periscope, 50,000. And YouTube, about 20,000. I don't know. People like to watch you walk around. It's a strange world, man. Is that what, is that what most of your content is? Just walking around? Walking around. Walking around. Commentary? Yep. Tell them, tell them stories. Oh, must 
be good commentary. Yeah. Those things go off now automatic? Okay. You got those like pause oh, engine these starts? Cars, or? These are the, um, the hybrid cars. Oh, these are hybrid? Yeah, yeah, we just upgraded to the hybrids. I mean, there's like half and half now. Oh, yeah? So, you know, we're so, trying. So, like, after a bit, it, the battery says no more. And... Uh, I mean, so the this is a Ford? Yeah, yeah. Ford. Yeah. Oh, dude, you got shields in there, too. There you, go. you guys are scared. You guys are tense right now, aren't you? I wouldn't say tense, you know. <laughs> I know. And to be honest, there ain't a lot of people out today. So I thought the snow was kind of pretty earlier. It is. It was, it was very picturesque earlier today. Oh, Not like yesterday. Yesterday sucked. <laughs> hmm. Oh. So can staff still go into the build the capital? Yeah. Like when I was here, you could just go anywhere. But like, you, like now, I told after 9/11, you guys had to have like a purpose to go through the Capitol building or something. If you were staff. After 9. Yeah. Um, it's crazy rules in there, but yeah. hey, man, I would just say you know stay safe. Just you know be mindful that you guys are get someone just like filming the gate going like that. Just be mindful how that looks. Yeah. No worries. You know? so, no worries. You know maybe. Get, tell that commentary. That story. <laughs> no. All right, you guys stay safe, man. All right, All right have a good one. Do, do, do. Well, we knew that was coming. Well, that was. Now nah, they had to run a license check on my name. Oh, you know, I've got, there's not a lot of people down here, and like, I'm filming stuff, and they get sketchy scared. <laughs> but hey, it's still free America out here. What's he going to do, detain me? Yeah, good luck with that. Well, I was filming the gates and filming the guards, and they get all sketchy, freaked out. Yeah, I'll be out here again. Let's film these guys and get ticked off again. <laughs> so if you're just joining, I was just stopped by the police for filming the gates and the security guards. Yeah, extra excitement. Oh, these little dogs. <laughs> I'll probably have a no-fly list. And I got a clean record, so they didn't stop me. Yeah, they are trying to put up these fences forever. It is snowing. So there's a big homeless camp down here too. There goes the cops. Cop number two. Ah, so finally we see some National Guard vehicles. Now we're, well, we're going to come down here because I'm not going to go any farther down there because I can't get back around. But we can look at this. This is a homeless, homeless camp. All the uh, homeless got pushed out into this area. Now, we didn't get the big snow that they got out of the northeast. 
They stopped me because I was filming. Here's the cop right here. That's the Heritage Foundation. It's a famous think tank. They'll even put up like a porta potty for me. These pubs are all new. They're telling him I used to be a staffer, though. That, that kind of like calmed them down a bit. I actually saw him pull up beside me. I kind of figured he was going to stop me, but I just figured I'd walk. Stay cool. Oh, it's cold. Uh, yeah. How are you, bro? Hey, you doing, man? All right. I hope you ain't had no DC United. Nah, no. <laughs> yeah, it sounds that way. Got an Arsenal hat on today, so he wants to talk about soccer. He didn't even ask me for spare change. He just wanted to talk about my hat. I think it's tough on a lot of homeless because most people aren't carrying change right now. Nobody's using cash. Ugh. More cops here. You know, in Hong, in China, they do. They use like what, what, what is it? WeChat Pay and Alibaba, Alipay, and they take like digital donations. What do you do? I was like, well, I walk around. I think they realized when this was going out live stream that you had to kind of be chill. There's the capital. Oh, I'm sure they could find a way. So we're going to walk back to East Capitol Street, then we're going to go back down to where we parked our car, back to the Marine Barracks, I think. They're a lot more sketchy. They're a lot more sensitive up here, I think, than the White House because of what happened. And because I'm dressed like a bum. <laughs> Hello. Do, 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 do. Oh, 
Uh, this is kind of a nice area, this part of Capitol Hill. There's a lot of congressmen live in this area, a lot of media types. There's Supreme Court again. No, I think it was one of the other cops noticed me filming the gates and they just got sketched. One of the National Guard. If I had a nicer jacket, I probably would have got away with it. <laughs> I guess. <sighs> Funny thing is, as I lived in, quote, a police state of Hong Kong for 10 years, it was never stopped for, stop for filming. But, oh well. <laughs> Maybe. This is actually a construction fence. This isn't a riot fence. Any cars coming? The view here is gorgeous. There we go. Make sure there's no cars coming. Ah. Yep. Yeah, they're just sketchy. But, you know, I'm not doing anything wrong. They can do what they want. Those guys were probably not even born when I was working here. <laughs> It is quiet. I think that's what kind of spooked them too, because like there's nobody out. Now, I mean, God, in the summertime, there'd be a thousand people making movies. One thousand people making movies. But uh, right now, not so much. They had riot shields in the back of their car. Yeah, they didn't remember Sonny Bono was a congressman. They certainly wouldn't remember my congressman before that. You guys ever want to meet congressmen? You can just come down to these restaurants and bars just over here. They're always out having dinner. Staff, this is like, these are like staff bars. So a lot of deals get done here in these bars. <laughs> a lot of political arguments too that end up in fist fights.
Yeah, they're probably more hyped up. So uh, we're just walking back through Capitol Hill neighborhood. A few restaurants down here. police officer who was killed is lying in state today. This, by the way, that's the tune-in. That's a famous pub right there. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, I really look sketchy. I'm wearing an army jacket and a hat and uh, running shoes. I just look very sketchy. I need a haircut. I need a new jacket. This is actually why I wanted to get a new camera. I wanted to get a camera that just clips onto my jacket so nobody sees me actually filming. I can just walk around, yeah? And just film from that. So I was looking at like the DJI Osmo Pocket or a new GoPro and then I just clip it onto my jacket like a body camera. The gas prices there are a little bit um, exorbitant because it's in the city and there's like all sorts of taxes here and because there's not a lot of other options. So they just kind of gouge everybody. Uh, so we're gonna walk back through Capitol Hill again. If I had like a big camera, I probably wouldn't have got any crap. That must explain what the motorcade was. I suspect that must have been yeah, them in the motorcade. That must have been Biden or Harris going to the um, going to the officers' wake memorial service. And that would explain all those sirens. Well, I voted for myself. I didn't win. <laughs> Somebody told me this is a Wi-Fi thing the other day. I want to see what this is. It's cold. Oh, this is like some gas sensor thing. Oh, it's a gas pipeline. Oh. It is chilly. What should I should eat for dinner. 
Anyway, so we're still back up on Capitol Hill. This is just the typical row houses of Capitol Hill you see around you. It's kind of what this neighborhood looks like. I guess I haven't been as chatty. <laughs> Okay, if that's what I think that is, I don't know, that might be the president, that might be a police helicopter, which would be up for Biden if he was moving. that helicopter. Oh, he's over there. I wonder where he's going. Cut through a dog park in the snow. Just watch out for the yellow snow. Man, it's cold. Doo 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 doo. Doo doo doo. Do, do, do. So we're back by the Gary Hart house. So what did you guys think when I was talking to him? Think he was going to like arrest me? He was pretty young. But if he stopped his car, well, I guess he must have left the car running. That's why it kicked in the engine. <laughs> I don't think anything bad was going to happen. Yeah, they didn't really have any reason to detain me. acting suspiciously, I guess, is their only reason. But I wasn't really that suspicious. I was more than happy to talk with him, chatty. Yeah, I think they were just checking up. I mean, you know, it's the kind of thing you do. And it is a sensitive day for those guys. I was actually wondering if he was going to ID me. Maybe, they, you know, they probably checked to see if I was, uh, uh, these are like million dollar houses. Was I yawning? <laughs> I might have been yawning. <laughs> I was bored. 
Oh, a lot of these houses are a million dollars. These big ones here. These are in the high sevens to a million US. The smaller one is pretty less. Depends if the place has been renovated too. Well, these houses are pretty beat up. When I lived here like 30 years ago, you could buy these places for like a hundred thousand dollars. Oops, missed that one. Missed that opportunity. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. This is going to end up on my YouTube channel probably tonight. Got to edit it out a little bit because there's a few personal identifying information that, like my driver's license number and stuff. I think. And we'll tell you what, we're going to end it back at the John Philip Sousa house where we started. So there's my walk for today. Thanks a lot for walking with me. I will see you on YouTube later tonight. Talk to you soon.